My name is Ahmed Farag Ali and I am originally from Egypt. When I was six years old, uh, I used to observe the patterns in nature around me, from the stars, from the planets, from uh, even the environment. I used to try to observe and tr try to connect all these kind of patterns in my mind. And when I was growing, my interest in nature and in, uh, and in understanding nature has been growing as well. So I started to give all my interest to physics and mathematics uh, afterwards to understand the nature at its fundamental level. Because I believe that understanding nature at its fundamental level will make us understand much more about the varieties in nature. I think when I was uh, 14 years old or 15 years old, I found that I am quite engaged in the physics concepts and to follow that, this concept to understand it in much more deeper way. Uh, I start to follow the science uh, communication books um, to get some idea and then I started to read some kind of uh, more technical book about physics and about mathematics. And then I decided to go to uh, the university and the faculty of science. And from the first day, I decided to study physics and to understand, and in particular, the theoretical physics, because it combined physics and mathematics in just one frame. I got my bachelor from Penhang University, it is a university in Egypt, and then I moved to another university when I graduated for a post-graduation study at Enchamps University, it is in Egypt also. Then I moved to India to attend some courses of, uh, in PhD, and then I moved from India to Italy to, uh, to do some kind of ICTB diploma in, in high energy physics at the International Center for, for Theoretical Physics. And then I moved from Italy to Canada to do my PhD at University of Lethbridge. Uh, and I got my PhD in theoretical physics. I, I was having some kind of uh, a, a deep intuition that reality is some kind of a simulation. I have some kind of personal experience about this. And by chance, I found some kind of video uh, for quantum gravity research. It is called, uh, What is Reality? I want to tell you about the universe. What it is, how it came to be, what its building blocks are. So I watched the, the video and the the things that Cle and the, uh, other quantum gravity research stuff was talking about in this video, exactly the ideas and the vision that was that were coming to my mind all the time. I see, I see some people are thinking exactly in the same way that I am thinking about nature. Uh, so I decided to communicate with Cle via email, and he replied me that. We agree almost on, on, the, on the concepts and the ideas. And uh, after, after all this, he invited me to visit here and then he offered me a job to work here. It tries to tackle the fundamental problem of first principle theory of reality. To understand uh, reality through quasi-crystal geometry. Uh, as a physicist, I have also some kind of a personal experience through meditations. And from my meditation experience, I realized that the reality has some kind of structure as a quasi-crystal at its fundamental level. 
So I find the quantum gravity research is the most uh, suitable center which can help me to make this theory uh, coming true. I'm working right now in, in, the, in trying to making a model uh, that we call it a clock model in the quasi-crystal. So we are focusing in a model of projecting the D6 lattice into the three dimensions. And in the three dimensions, we try to make a simulations for how the time could emerge in the three-dimensional reality. Uh, so that is exactly what I'm working with right now. To understand the simple principle of reality. Because I think the, the reality does follow a quite simple principle. It is a key or it is a code of the space-time. If we are able to figure it out, I think this will be the theory of everything. I don't think that the reality is really complicated or the principles or the fundamental principles of reality is very complicated. It is quite simple. And we just try to, to reach this principle uh, in its simplest form. If this can be done, I think we'll be able to understand the code of this space time and to understand the code of this hologram that we are living inside. Understanding quantum is something that helps you to understand yourself. Uh, if you just to look at your mind, at your, uh, at your brain, you will see your brain is formed from around 100 billion neurons, and these neurons are making an interaction with each, with each others all the day. And these kind of interactions are producing something like 70,000 thoughts per day. All these interactions are quantum interactions. If you Try to understand the quantum mechanics, you will understand exactly how your brain is working. And if you, are, if you understand how your brain is working, you will be, you will be able to control, control your brain much more. And if you control your brain much more, I think you will be able to control your life much more. And I think this is your way to, to be happy.